Hey, happy holidays. It's Katrina Sawa here with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, connecting with yourself to grow your business. That is my message for today. Um, I One thing I see that is pretty common with the business owners that I work with uh, is that they don't always feed their own needs and desires first. I believe this is hurting your business. If this is you as well, um, connecting with your business to to connecting with yourself to grow your business is so vital. And I've been guilty of this too at times. Not uh, No one is perfect, right? But these days I'm relatively aware of watching out for this on a weekly basis. And I urge you to be as well. Let me give you some examples of what I want and need to fill my tanks. And then when I want you to think to fill yours. So I talk about your tanks, right? We have different tanks to fill. Like we have a love tank. That's the one I'm always looking to fill, right? And then we have a money tank and we might have an energy tank. We might have a uh, whatever. Like you have these different tanks, right? Of faith, passion. Uh, it could be relationships, that kind of thing. And you want to think of the things that fill your tanks. So <clears throat> um a few years ago, I did this exercise at a self-development workshop where we were focused on learning more about what men think. <laughs> this was when I was single and looking for a man. It made me realize the four tanks I had to fill each day and what things I could do to fill them. It's hard to explain in a short article, in a short you know video like this, but these tanks involved basically characteristics or values that I held high and mine at the time, and pretty much they're pretty close to this now too, but is love, faith, passion, and happiness. There was a pretty involved process I went through to discover what those four tanks were in the first place. They didn't just come to me. In fact, it was curious to me that none of them involved making money or having wealth, which is what I always talk about, right? I always talk about those things. But what really came out was what was internal and what really mattered to me and from a value standpoint, I could tell. So love, faith, passion, and happiness were my tanks. And so you'll have to discover what yours are. But I'm the type of person, though, that really requires seven to eight hours sleep every night in order to be my fully loving and focused self. I also require, <clears throat> excuse me, creativity time during my day, not every day, but most days, time in which I can record a video training or a tip, <coughs> excuse me, express myself on an interview or a podcast, um, perhaps write an article or think, think up new ideas and implement them. I also require time with my immediate family and loved ones, specifically my hubby, Jason, who is my best friend and so fun to talk to. Uh, before I met Jason, however, I had to fill my love tank and I thought it had to be filled with the love of a significant other. But instead, because I didn't have one at the time, I was thinking up ways to give and receive love that didn't involve another person like that. And I found that cuddling and playing with my dog, I had a big, huge German shepherd at the time named Zeke. And it was just me and Zeke uh, when I was in between marriages. And, and cuddling with him was like, oh, that brought me so much luck, right? And now I have Luna, who's a, a, just a love. She loves to cuddle too. Um, our last dog, Willow, in the middle wasn't such a cuddler. So she wasn't really that great for love. <laughs> But Luna is, and so I know that playing with uh, pets and especially my dogs bring me lots of love. So thankfully I had that. Uh, playing with my friend's small children brought me love, not babies, I must say. I never did have a baby um, and I'm not, you know, I wasn't just, I'm not really a baby person, let's put it that way. But I love kids who can talk and, you know, uh, play games and stuff like that. So playing with my friends, kids brought me love. And so during that time in my life, it was funny because I would reach out to my friends who had the small kids and I'd say, can I come over and play with your kid? <laughs> it really worked though to fill my love tank. <clears throat> and all of these things made me happy and fed my soul. Uh, and today still do, right? So that now I'm more, I'm more motivated to do what I love every day and get up taking inspired action. Fun and spending time with my loved ones and 
other close women friends are what inspires me also today. I need it so much. I even decided to start a chapter of my favorite women's connection company locally. And uh, I'll be announcing the official launch of that in January. But um, if you're close to me in Sacramento, Placer County, then you definitely want to reach out. You might want to know more about this. But what do you want or need to be your best self? <clears throat> that is the question today. And a challenge that I want you to take on. Uh, areas to consider when connecting with yourself are your self-worth, your confidence, right? Self-care or health, relationships and friendships, environment, the surroundings you're in and your home. That really makes a big difference. Love, passion, and purpose, faith and spirituality, and your values and must-haves right? Think about those and really consider how you can connect with yourself in a lot more of those areas or pick one or two to get that really seem like you're not doing so well in those areas, right? Don't undervalue what you really need though. List out what's important to you and what would feed you and your soul, your passion, your purpose more. What tanks do you think you need to fill? What activities would you fill them with? then go to your calendar and figure out how to fit it all in. Seriously, go do this now or you never will. I'm here to be a resource and mentor for those of you who know you need this and or more business building advice, marketing accountability, partnership, and more. Please reach out if you want to talk. You can go to my website at jumpstartyourbiznow.com. You can get to a free call with me or fill out the contact form. And just let's have a conversation, right? And then check out jumpstartevents.net. There's always something going on, whether it's a free webinar or an in-person retreat or a program. Uh, go to jumpstartevents.net to learn how you can get involved and how we can actually connect in person or virtually. And I would love to see you or talk to you again. So happy holidays. I uh, hope this is helpful for you today and we will talk to you soon.